Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Sestari brand, their ultimate pasta machine, unique patented suction base for non-slip use of stainless steel pasta roller machine. 5.9 inches wide, includes pasta cutter, hand crank, and recipes, beautiful red color. So the instructions tell you how to do it, and then they even tell you the recipes, and how to clean it, and so forth. We're gonna be demonstrating how to make pasta. So this is a beautiful machine and it comes with the crank right here that goes in and this allows you to rotate the dough on the up roller, upper rollers right here and you have the crank to move right here for the two cutters as you can see right there two different shapes different widths you also have an adjustment on the side and this allows you to control the thickness of the pasta number one is the thickest or zero is the thickest and you can move your way up to make it thinner and thinner which brings those two rollers in while you make that adjustment this top piece comes off for cleaning it lifts up just like that for cleaning and those are the two cutting portions that will you rotate and you'll be able to cut the pasta into those different shapes like linguine or spaghetti and here's where the roller gets adjusted that width right there that's where you're going to put the dough in to flatten it out and the crank is what you're going to use now if you can't get the suction on your table because just say you have a just a basic wood table that is a little porous and this doesn't lock in place you can use the included table mount right there and lock it in place this goes right on the side into the opening there and then you can pull this down on your table that combined with this big rubber gasket flange will hold it on any surface but this works amazing if you uh, n turn this knob right here on the bottom right here counterclockwise then it's locked onto this table and this this is a base of wooden table and look I can rotate that all day and it stays totally solid that's nice so that you can really make pasta on any surface so you're covered whether it's smooth or whether it's just a block of wood and then you can use this nice brace on there. This machine also gets excellent customer ratings and it has a lifetime no questions asked replacement warranty from the manufacturer. The noodles that it makes are 5.9 inches wide and then it's going to cut them into the two different shapes linguine or pasta or spaghetti. On the bottom of the unit there's these clever little nylon sections that are used to keep the dough in place and for cleaning you could slide them either direction which causes them to come out of the edge right there then you can clean them and put them back in by repeating that process you could use a fork right on this right here which is perfect to slide these across to get them out of those channels so we're going to be making some pasta with this and see how it does so we made the dough that's in the recipe book and uh, we let it sit for about 15-20 uh, minutes so we're going to try the roller. We're going to go to a setting of uh, zero. And that's the first time to get the dough a little bit thinner. Cool. So now it goes, we're going to decrease, pull the knob out and decrease it to uh, a higher number. Goes through real easily. And it folds up on itself very nicely. Now we're going to do the next number. I'm going to show you how the dough uh, gathers on the bottom here. Put a little flat. So it kind of folds it nicely. So now we're doing a setting of three. I love how it folds the dough perfectly. It's so cool. Now we're going to do the last setting they recommend, which is like four, four or five. And the dough is getting kind of long. You could cut it in half to make it easier if you wanted to. Very cool. Now we're ready to go through and do the pasta shape we want. Uh -huh. So cut it in half to make it a little easier to manage. This piece is all now we're ready to cut the pasta, so we're going to transition to the fettuccine. wider fettuccine or linguine shape. This is the fettuccine. And then you just pull it out and you can separate it. And we're going to put it on a towel to let it dry out. Is that cool? 
So here we have some that we've done already. It's kind of addictive. You want to just keep making pasta all day. Now we're just going to try the linguine side. Oh, look at that. Oh, is that cool? So here we're going to make a thicker linguine. We went to a thickness of number two. Kind of like a lo mein. So one thing I want to point out is this works amazing on granite. Uh, this is totally solid. You can budge this thing if you tried. So there's no no bracket no needed for this because uh, it just works perfectly on this surface. Fettuccine. Fettuccine. So we're also going to make a really small lasagna for two because we have enough dough to do that. So we're just going to keep thinning up the dough till it's at the right thickness to make a lasagna. So it's very easy to clean. You don't want to soak the whole machine. Just take a fiber cloth, which works really well, and you just wipe the chambers out like this and wipe the sides and the bottom of it. And that's pretty much it. And then just let it air dry and you're all set for the next time you use it. So we used the fettuccine noodles that we made and we made an olive oil, garlic, mushroom with a little Parmesan Reggiano on top. And this is the linguine that we made. I put it on a thicker setting, so it's a little bit like linguine and egg noodles, kind of a mixture. But I got my homemade red sauce on here. It's delicious. So I used the rest of our dough to make nice thin sheets of lasagna. And I pre-boiled the noodles about two minutes. And then I layered the noodles with mozzarella cheese and some cream of broccoli and cauliflower soup that I had thickened with some cornstarch. So this is a vegetarian lasagna that we're gonna enjoy for tonight's dinner. So after testing, what do I think about the Sistari brand, or Ultimate Pasta Machine? This is a cool product. The fact that you can roll this simply and have that suction available on your table while I have to worry about mounting it or the option of mounting it. And as I demonstrated, this makes some beautiful pasta and uh, if you just want to roll dough to make raviolis, this is excellent also. Uh, whatever you want to do, it's easy to clean. I'm impressed by the quality of this product. I'm going to give it a full five-star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're alerted to new video uploads. And if you thought this review was helpful, please hit the like button. There'll be an ordinary link in the information section of this video review. Please use that link when you order this product to help support this channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.